So now we are going to talk about how to manipulate what uh, our images by uh, what from what we've selected. So we've already discovered that we can select things uh, and what have you. Now if we're in a different layer, so we'll just bring on an extra layer. I've made all these invisible, uh, but I'll just bring that on back. So this one's got a transparent background. So if we were selecting the layer, we should remember to select the layer that we're working on. Uh, this is the move here. Uh, that will allow us to move this um, rose around, but um, that's so we can move in separate things around without moving anything else because they're on different layers. Okay, so I just wanted to quickly show you that. Uh, so, say for instance, we've selected something here. So, say we selected the uh, flower here. Okay, we can then. I'm sure I don't need to explain these. I'm sure you understand. Uh, cut, copy, c and clear or cut is, of course, when you're copying it, but also deleting it as well from the image. Copy is when you're copying it but leaving it in the image. Clear is uh, just deleting it, it's wiping the area off. So I click that, that would delete that area I've selected altogether. Um, and paste is, of course, when you paste what you've copied onto your image. Okay, uh, so those are pretty self explanatory, aren't they? So just uh, now, if we were moving something around, so say I wanted to move this area that we've selected, we just click on it, we'll make sure we've got our move. Tool select. So we've selected it first with this, selected it, then we click on the move tool while well, it's still selected. Click on that and we can move that wherever we want by just clicking um, our mouse, left mouse button and holding that down until we're happy where we want to leave it. So, you know, pop it there and there we are, it just stays there. Okay, so that's that one. We'll just move it back to where it was. In fact, I'll uh, Deselect it. I'll just actually undo the undo that move by clicking my history here, the one above. Right. So now, what about close work? Well, for this one, I'm going to actually draw something on the screen so we can see. I'm just going to um, let's see. Let's make a new layer. So, you, by the way, you can create a new blank layer by clicking this. Um, but uh, what we're going to do is I'm just going to make a new layer. I'm going to go back to the roses and I'm going to draw a shape on there. I'm not going to explain the drawing tool on this lecture. I'm just going to draw, for the demonstration purposes, a black shape there. I'm going to go in this one and draw another black shape on that one because I want to be able to move that around independently. So we've, now we've got two black shapes. So say for instance um, we're in, we want to move this shape, which will move independently from the shape. I'm going to move it from there. I'm going to move it right up so that there's no white in between. Okay, so what you would do first, we're in the area, so we don't need to actually use any selection tools. Um, but actually, we're, we're going to do that actually just to demonstrate. So I'm going to go back to this layer, okay, because we wanted to move this one, it would just be a case of clicking here and we can move that wherever we want. But we're not going to do that, we're going to go back here. So on this layer is the, the, the flowers, and now this also in on the same layer this is on the same layer so now we're going to select it first so you could do the that but that might be a bit tricky I would probably use this the wand so we select click on the black it's just going to select the black only hopefully it was only selected that now we're going to click on our move tool to move it so it's right next to this one with no white so if you try to do that with our mouse here we can move it easily up to it, but to try and get it exactly there, it's fine work. It's going to be quite difficult to get it exactly right and lined up with the top of the shape even as well. So we want to get it lined up perfectly, say, with the top and, and there. So what we would do there is we'd zoom in first. So I'll just zoom in there. I'm using my wheel at the top of my mouse to do that. I just want to get nice and close so we can... I'll just move it up here by clicking there. Or you could also use these sliders here to move around as well. In fact, we'll just, for this example, we'll just go up there like that. Okay, so as we know, we can move it like that and get as close as we can to where we want it. But And then we don't have to try and mess on with ages for, with your mouse. On your keyboard, you will have arrow keys, uh, directional arrows. Your left, one for right, one for down, one for up. Um, don't know where they are on your key bar, uh, keyboard. On mine, I believe it's a standard keyboard. Uh, it appears on, on the right hand side underneath the shift keys when you press hold down for getting capital letters. So if I was to move the up key, each time I press it, it goes up one pixel, and each time I press it down, it goes down one. 
Um, okay, so we need to make sure, of course, that we are have got this selected so we can move it around. Okay, now if we were because we got that selected, let's move it closer. So let's move it nice and close. Now if we get it, zoom in a bit more, so get it really close. So let's go up a little bit there. So at the top, come along a little bit there. So if we move, use the arrow keys. There. Now I've just hit that button once. So hit it again, it moves there. Move it once. Press it once, and the black's disappeared. So we know it's right next to it. Now we know it's not lined up with. We want to line these up as well. So say. We just lift that up so the up key just press it once now if you press and hold it of course it will keep moving and it'll probably just carry on moving for a little bit as well uh, so it stopped moving now so I can just move it down until I'm happy that this is now level with that now the strange thing about this though, is that the marching ants haven't actually moved it's a bit strange that I think sometimes it does sometimes it doesn't but you can see now how doing fine work is a lot easier by using your arrow keys as opposed to the mouse mouse clicking and dragging your mouse along on an object will move it very quickly over large spaces very quickly but when it comes to very fine work where you're zooming in it's unless you're very very good steady hand it's very difficult to do it fine work so that's using the arrow keys just make sure though that you've got you must have the move key selected whilst you're doing that otherwise the arrow keys will not move anything so that's uh, moving things around and what you see your selections and editing copying and so on